Dak Prescott's six multiple interception game this season, and his interceptions resulted in six points. I mean, that's just what it equated to. Uh, two Dak interceptions. He gives away six points. He has the near pick six at the very end. RJ has the Dak tweet that causes the mayor of Dallas yeah. to go ahead and respond. Bobby Belt, you get the mic first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> quarterback wasn't good enough. Offensive coordinator wasn't good enough. Head coach wasn't good enough. That's That's where the game came down to to me. Okay. And for the love of God, get a second receiver in here. Okay, well, let's divvy up that pie then. I'm not going to let you off that easy. Okay. Divvy up the pie of coordinator, weapon, coach, quarterback for yesterday. Weapon is more just kind of a generalized, you need to get another one. That's, I, I'm not, we're, we're, what, this is game 20 or, or week 20 of the NFL season? Like, I, I mean, that's just in general a gripe that's existed all season. So I'm not going to like blame that for yesterday. Uh, I'll go, uh, I, I, I think it's pretty close. 33, 33, 33. Wow. Okay. Wow. Little, probably a little more Dak. <laughs> okay. A little more Dak, but very little. How can McCarthy be equally to blame than the way Dak Prescott played? Because the game management was awful in the final 20 minutes when you needed it the most. It was bad. You go for it on fourth and five. You go for it on fourth and eight. You maybe go for it on fourth and ten before the two-minute warning. The fourth and five is ridiculous. You're you're right there at the 40. Go for it. You need it. Pick it up. Score. Fourth and eight was unacceptable, too. And, and that one didn't get talked about at all. But you kick it with Brett Maher to make it 16 to 12. I don't care that you got points there because you come out of it. And what do you still need? You still need a touchdown. Whether you make the field goal or miss the field goal, you still need a touchdown in order to do anything. So why not get the extra crack at a touchdown? Go for it on fourth and eight. It was just bad game management. I, I think it's my personal pie chart. You can have yours. Uh, 85, 10, 5. Uh, I mean, come on. This can't be equal to the coordinator yeah. and the head coach with the way your quarterback I mean, he, he, he had a – the second interception was awful. Oh, that was God, an dude, awful yeah. pick. And the first one? Yeah. The first one, I first think. First one was great. The, no, one no. Of the best interceptions ever. Someone no. else's fault. Someone else. What the? Gallup's you fault. Got, dude, it's like, yeah. It's, why Why the F is Gallup stopping on the route? Why is he standing? Literally, that is a comeback. Bobby, He's not coming. Okay, but no, you're but asking. The, but the interceptions, even aside. He underthrew Lamb. That could have been a touchdown. That was a, that was a miracle play by CD. That was a, that was a bad underthrow. Was behind Lamb on another third down. I don't think Lamb he wasn't, would have picked it up. What? He wasn't great. I'm not saying he, he was great. No, good. no, no, he no. Wasn't but listen, average. To, listen. To, but he wasn't average, right? I'm saying. I'm saying. I I think outside of the interception, it was just a very middling performance. That's what I think. He took the hat off. He's all upset now. Okay. Uh, I have it at 99% Dak, 0.4% Kellen Moore, 0.4% <laughs> Mike McCarthy, and then 0.2% on the wide receiver. I'm gonna amend that though because Mike McCarthy cost his team like. Six to eight percent win percentage, win probability. So I'll amend that. So now tax at ninety two percent. Cost it with the fourth and five. For the five and the fourth, uh, the, the the punt before the two minute warning from your own what eighteen. Um, so you just cost the about six percent win probability there. So I'll amend that. So I'll make it DAC to ninety three percent. Mike McCarthy at six, then Kellen Moore and the wide receiver. But yeah. if you, your 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 OC doesn't have a prayer. When your quarterback plays like that, he could be God out there calling plays. He could know the defense's play call, and he doesn't have a prayer when your quarterback puts up that crap. Doesn't have a prayer. He was – go ahead. Sorry. I just uh, – one of the arguments I heard yesterday in the press box was like, well, maybe Kellen's calling all these speed outs and comebacks because he knows the quarterback's not in a position to do anything. It's like, bull – No. Because the problem here is, what is he throwing interceptions on all year? The speed outs and the comebacks, and that's all you built into the game plan. What has San Francisco struggled with over the last five weeks of the season? It was all the stuff downfield. It was all the stuff in the middle of the field. It was the seven, eight, nine routes. It's the stuff you didn't throw all freaking game. It was the play action crap that you didn't call until the third quarter. There was no play action until Pollard went out 
and they weren't even running the ball effectively anymore. So for the whole argument about, well, we got to establish the running game before we can use play action. Oh, okay, so you wait before Zeke's in there getting you six inches at a time. Wonderful to start calling play action. Dak Prescott on the two interceptions that happened yesterday. Yeah, the first one, um, I guess you just hitched, hitched one too many times. I guess MG, uh, understandably, hitching three times, thought I was going to go on a scramble, um, and the guy just came back to the ball, made a play. Uh, I've got to throw that one away or, or use my feet, get out of the pocket. Uh, and then on the second one, um, nickel squeezed. Uh, yeah, tried to, try to throw a loaded CD, but, I mean, he was able to make a play on it, tip it up in the air, and... Uh, tip it to the mic. Uh, just two throws that, that that I can't have. You can't have in the playoffs. You can't have when you're trying to beat a team like that. You can't have on the road. And um, yeah, no excuses for that. Those are two are 100% on me. 877-881-1053. Truckwreck.com text line to hit us up here on the show. Uh, so, I mean, we're in early disagreement over Dak Prescott. We have many more hours and weeks and months and weeks now to discuss and months. it. We have plenty of time to discuss it. The drafts in what May, whatever it is, April. This is the, fi the, this is the final question I ask you about Dak in this segment. Mm -hmm. Have you changed your mind about him being the guy whatsoever after, as we sit right now? No. You're, you're a stubborn man, Bobby Bell. I'm not a stubborn man. I think you look at some of these performances, like even these multi-interception games that we've had, like Jacksonville and stuff like that, he was playing well in those games. And the peripheral statistics say he was playing well in those games. Was he great yesterday? No. But, but was he, he a problem yesterday? Yes. But he did not play yesterday, well, in my opinion, anywhere near the way he played in the Jacksonville game. Yeah, he also just like went on the road and played one of the best performances this franchise has had in a playoff game. Against an under 500 team. Against a solid pass defense. Against a, de a pass defense that a lot of people say is secondary that's better than San Francisco's. Uh, look, th he did play an all-time game last week. N no one can say that he didn't. Nobody could. But Sean's right. That was an under 500 team. That was a team where Dak knew that there was like, th there was, there was. All he had to do was put up X amount of points they were going to win that game. Because Tampa can't score. And all he had to do with this was put up 20, 20 points. 20 points. Yeah, and he, ca he cost you minimum six. He cost you minimum six, more realistically nine, as much as 13. Because he threw the first interception. I mean, that was back in their own end. But the second interception, they were in the red zone. They could possibly score a touchdown there. You're, you're, at, you're realistically probably looking at a field goal. Just because it, it felt like all night. It didn't matter, and I think I texted you guys this. It was one of those things where even whenever they drive into San Francisco territory, it's like they're not coming away with points. It just felt like they weren't coming away with points. It also felt all night like one of these games where, and I said this to somebody at one point, you remember the, uh, I think it was Micah hit Purdy's arm and Donovan Wilson, like it changed the trajectory of the ball and Donovan Wilson flew by it, but it almost was there. It's like, that's the night it's going to be. It's going to be the night where San Francisco is going to catch all those and Dallas is going to miss that one. Deron Bland's going to drop the one near the end zone. Tr Trayvon Diggs is going to drop the one near the end zone. It just felt like that night where the bounces are going to go to San Francisco. And it it felt to me like even in the second quarter, like this was a game they were going to lose. Star down to Trayvon Diggs. Uh, that, was a soft, that was a soft effort on that Kittle catch. I can't even look at the Kittle catch. Because I know he gave his little WWE reaction afterwards and his bobble as he's sitting there playing mm -hmm. with himself. Uh, as he, he ended up with five for what? 95, both playoff career highs. He could have lit him up on that play. That ball hung. That play hung oh. in the air for so long. And somehow Trayvon Diggs, who has been criticized around here for his tackling, completely whiffs. Completely whiffs any type of contact, in my opinion. Doesn't allow that 30-yard completion to take place. And he could have made up for it with the interception, his specialty. At the, at, after that, he drops the interception. He totally wusses out on the Kittle play. Big, fat, humongous start down for Trayvon Diggs. I'm disgusted by the Kittle play. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lose my mind over the dropped interception because it was a tip ball. So you had to change your hands really, really quick. And even though he's got great hands. That just, one kind of got to his bread basket it, more. It, it handcuffed him. It handcuffed him. The Kittle play, you're spot on. My Lord. Okay. Uh, that's a soft play, man. I'm sorry. What do they call it? El Matador? That's what he is. He's a Matador out there. Just just 
put a red cape on him and Tra him. Trayvon Duck. Yep. Trayvon, Something like Trayvon that. Ducks. That was that was bad. That was bad. You have to I mean, I get it. I get it. Kittle's got size on him, all that stuff. Like he's not gonna sit there and you know Kittle's and, concentrating on the ball. Dude, you could have lit him up. I mean, you could have separated Separate. you could have separated the ball. You could have separated his shoulder. Hey. I mean, oh, I can't talk about that. Don't you talk could have about separated everything. Like he was there. Like you all you could have lit him up. And they didn't. He completely whiffed. On purpose. On purpose. You there's no way you could convince me that he did not miss him on purpose. <laughs> not a chance. I mean, that was that that was a football play. That, that, that's one of those plays that in 1978 would have been on a TV commercial. For how much they would have lit him up. It's it, it, it is on a commercial now, that yeah. XFL one on the sideline. Yeah. I think that's the league. So he drops the interception. They have a third and nine. And you have Donovan Wilson tackle Kittle. That keeps them on the field. Then you get another first down because only defensive holds can happen to a lineman. When the Cowboys face the 49ers. In the playoffs, that's it. That's all, that all on that drive. Kittle with the bobble catch. Diggs with the duck. Uh, third and nine. Donovan Wilson penalty. Legit penalty. And then Hankins gets called for a hold. And they make you pay. Start down Trayvon Diggs. Yeah. I, I, I am I am still very perplexed with the amount of defensive holding calls on, on the line <laughs> this team gets in these playoff games. I You never see that called. The, literally the only time I ever see that called is when the Cowboys play the Niners. Makes absolutely no sense. I wonder, I'll have to look it up. I wonder if over the last two years, those two games, they've racked up more defensive holding than they have in the last two seasons. I bet it's <laughs> close. Because, uh, I mean, honestly, they got flagged for it a bunch last year. They could have been flagged for it even more. Uh, and I am I'm sure it doesn't make anybody feel better, but just as uh, context for what it was like post-game, he was, Trayvon Diggs was the most depressed in the locker room for what it's worth so again i know that doesn't make anybody feel better and the fan text probably lights it up with well he should be depressed blah, blah, blah. but he was he was he was incredibly down after the game how else was it in there uh it's funny i saw mac ingle and mac was Whoa. saying in the entire time i've been around the cowboys he's like this is the fastest a locker room has emptied out uh i had i followed jerry with his walk off we saw you on tv and by the time i came back the locker was empty except for like dak and zeke and dak was going to go to the podium and so it emptied out really really fast but um walked to the locker everybody pretty stoic D uh, Diggs looked flat out depressed Diggs was at his locker depressed uh zach martin was interesting because he was kind of tearing up he looked kind of emotional and like hugged one of the coaches on the way in and that, that was the only sort of have you emotion seen, is you he, saw. Is he ever like that? No. Uh-uh. He's he's usually very just You think he's going to retire? I don't I don't I don't know. It's weird. He he, he just he, he I don't know what it was. It's just it was it was a very weird reaction. It may just be the I'm a veteran. I don't know how many years I have left and this was a I thought we had a really good shot. And uh you know, it's just it was it was it was kind of an odd reaction. He just he he looked like he was tearing up and that's not like him. Yeah.